Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome to this Game of Thrones special of the Total War Attila. It's a mod called the Seven Kingdoms pack. I'm joined here by uh, Pope. Hi, guys. And uh, spoiler alert, we are going to be discussing the newest episode because obviously this was probably the biggest deal out of everything. This has been building up since the first episode. Yeah, literally with like, oh, with um, the random Night's Watchman getting killed right at the beginning. Yeah, from the very beginning, the first scene, it's it's a pretty big deal. So we're going to talk about it while uh, recreating the battle. So yeah, again, once again, guys, spoiler alerts. If you've not seen the episode, I wouldn't I wouldn't watch this episode uh, this episode of our series. So yeah, yeah I'm just, just like, um, I'm busy taking screenshots while you're doing this. It's beautiful. I've got a great shot right now of the Unsullied. I'm looking at all the zombies, and they are very well done. This mod is very very well done. A little bit unfinished, but it's still very well done. Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah. So, there's a few things they could polish off but there's not like too much i'm gonna quickly oh, yeah. your army of the dead it looks so horrible it is so it's horrible. just oof. But yeah so the plan is for obviously to scrim to attack we've got there's a lack of uh dragons and white walkers but to represent um the night king you have a chevron up unit yeah seven up general which is, is a he, is he a white or is he a skeleton a, he's a white horde ancient white so he's a skeleton unit so uh, okay i can't see him currently nah it's because it's foggy because ah. the night king called in some fog didn't he he did I, well i mean i can see most of your army i just can't see which one's the chevron up, up unit nah he's, he's hidden away right now okay oh <laughs> so so yeah the plan is to do usually what happens in the uh, in the episode which is very strange and very annoying that this happens, but hey, I, I've got to do yes. it. Yes, uh, let's talk about that. So obviously for the first it's, 10 minutes, it, it's just it's, people getting prepared. It's starting well. <laughs> yeah. I'm, you can talk away, talk away. Yeah, so the, obviously the first episode is just them all getting prepared. And then uh, obviously a lot of tension, a lot of building. And then what happens is the, uh, the witch lady appears randomly. And they set everyone's swords of light. <laughs> yeah. Now don't get me wrong, that was absolutely awesome. And they achieved exactly what they wanted us to, wanted to achieve, which was us going, oh my god, they, there's actually a chance. Yeah. Sending my units forward now to attack your cavalry. So yeah, obviously in the first part of the episode, this is the cavalry charging forward. Very strange move, yes, I find. Yes, very un especially when unsupported. Very strange. Yeah, exactly. Now obviously we've seen the Dothraki charges in previous episodes, and they're pretty devastating. They, uh, they cut right through men. Mm. But uh, the undead, they just finish them off within minutes. I believe I saw maybe five or six people run back in a horse. So yeah, there's a few, there wasn't there's a like lot left. A of them. couple of Dothraki made it back. I'm gonna quickly pull away and do a few hammer. Well, not hammer and anvils, but secondary charges, and try and activate this run them down um, ability that they've got going on. But, yeah. But hey, that's all I can say. It's so dark. It's like it in, it's like in the actual episode. It's so dark. <laughs> There's actually quite a few memes going around where there's people just like saying, "Why is it so dark?" It's like you trying to concentrate seeing if your favorite character's been killed yet, sort of mm. thing. Well, yeah, there's quite like, amusing. Yeah, there was one that I've seen. It's like uh, I thank Drogon, Rhaegal, the Moon, Melisandre for trying to bring light to us viewers, or something like that. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's so true. And yeah, then also we'll get onto it a bit later. But the dragon scene is a bit some of those shots i was a bit dubious about because yeah. i was like i'm not quite sure what's going on here but yeah this is insane i mean but when you watch it though you just see this wall of lights just stop it doesn't even charge in a little bit it stops mm. kind of curves and then it just goes out bit i think that bit. was literally the only reason she did it is just so we could see them all the lights go out yeah your it's, army it's... is so scary i know i think your cavalry starting to falter now as well yeah a bit they're, they're dying a lot quicker than they were earlier yeah it's because there's less units now so and also I'm just... the charge is not effective uh, was it not well no well you know obviously now we're in combat so like they're yeah not the lances yeah yeah they're not used to it what i love as well is when you see all the heroes when they see the dothraki just go out bit by bit you just see all the heroes go oh shit can we also <laughs> just, just can we also just like assume that ghost is dead like they just they just brushed they over that. They just brushed they... over that ghost just died. Did he die? I don't remember him seeing him die. I just I remember him disappearing. He's like, well, here he is for an episode, like the last episode. Oh, and now he's gone. Did well, he die? Well, I assume so because you do, he's just not there. He's just, but he just he doesn't retreat. 
He keeps he keeps like appearing and disappearing. Like I said in the last episode, we see him on the wall. Yeah. And then that was it. He just seems to be a reoccurring just I think yeah, that thing. last yeah, in episode two he was just there because the fans wanted to see him, so they were like, yeah. Oh, okay, we'll throw him in quickly. And then I threw him in quickly again in season uh, in episode three, but I think well, I was hoping he was gonna have not died. We're actually pushing you forward, uh, pushing you back. Sorry, I'm just like seeing the like where the original line was, and we push you forward, uh, back. Sorry. Yeah, know, I'm still charging my units in there to try yeah. and. Uh... Well, you you've got the flanks on me. You should be able to uh, beat me, I think, quite easily. Yeah, I'm just gonna go in for a flanking maneuver. Yeah, your from my perspective, your right flank's faltering. Your middle is okay, but yeah, you are slowly flank. starting to deplete now. Oh yeah, yeah. Everyone's on losing like decisively, but yeah. Um, but yeah. So I mean, he might. I thought he was going to come back and save John when he was about to fight the Night King, but hey. He, oh, we'll get to that bit in a minute, yeah. because that was that was uh, that was something. Yeah, it was. But um, yeah, while the rest of this is going on, I will show you what the the, the rest of my army is. We have a fair amount of unsullied. We have five normal Unsullied, including Grey Worm, to defend the gate, and they will defend it with their lives. Then we have another six units of Elite Unsullied. This is what I'm guesstimating is the amount of Unsullied, because there was a lot of Unsullied. There were like there were a lot of Unsullied, but near the end, they looked very much depleted. Oh yeah, I would agree. They were... They looked like there was no army left. Yeah, but then they reappear... I don't know if you've seen the trailer for Episode 4. I have, yes. Yeah, so they, they, they do make a reappearance. I've just lost one of my Dothraki units. Yeah, they're, they're falling behind. They're yeah. falling away now. Yeah, so... And also, you've got the gates open. <laughs> we have the have gates. I... Yeah, the nor there's Northmen by the gates, and that's activated to keep the gates open. I just, oh, yeah, yeah, I've just, I've just zoomed into that myself. Yep. So, yeah, and this is obviously now the part of the episode where the Dothraki are just slowly... I say evaporating, because they just did. They lasted yeah. seconds, not even a minute, and they were all gone. They were. It was like an absolute bulldozing. It was. They. I talk about bulldozing. We'll get into that part when we uh, move forward towards uh, Winterfell. And the unsullied. I mean, the unsullied. Poor the unsullied. Like, I was saying when I was watching it, I said like at the break, I was like, I'm pretty sure we've never seen the unsullied do ridiculously well, and they're like supposed to be famed for their fighting. They always seem to be in a hard fight. They are, but this fight that they got into, they weren't ready for that. I mean, yeah. what I find really cool about the original charges, it was just a big wall of Unsullied. And it wasn't like a, it kind of like appears and it's like a sharp little... It's just, it just, it's just a wave of dead, yeah. uh, the undead. It just, it just happened so slowly and quickly at the same time. Yeah, I did it's like think... a charge in another film where it's like, bang, there it is. It's like just a... It's just, yeah. I would have Use thought, like, if you were an Unsullied, you'd, like, put your spear forward to, like, break the, um, break the charge. Because, like, instead yeah. of waiting for them, you'd, like, maybe step forward once and then just stab them. But near, clearly not. Look how fast your guys are. So oh, fast. wow. Yeah, they are. Jesus. They're catch catching up with the Dothraki that are breaking. That's how Oh, they actually. <laughs> they Charging is going to be fun. Yeah, it is ridiculous. You probably want to, like, reform to before you charge. Yeah. Oh, I'm just gonna finish. I'll you've got a lot of them left, and your men don't break. And yeah, I've I gone over that in what the last episode, uh, well, last uh, video that we did on Game of Thrones. They do not break. Oh, and I can see there's torchbearers. It looks so re looks so good. It's like the actual episode. There's torchbearers <laughs> left, and like they're slowly going out. And then you've got yeah. some random dead guy with a torch as well. <laughs> yeah, they, they decided that fire doesn't hurt them anymore, and they want to see things if they even have armor. Yeah, they, they are they are long gone. That is all the Dothraki dead. I am down to a very small army, but hopefully my northern <laughs> allies here will help. They are all now on the wall. We have Mandalays. We have um, Mormont to represent the Mormont. We have Oh, Mormont. Oh, yeah, I cried. I we'll come to that. That was actually probably the most emotional deaths for me. Yeah, I cried. And then she did like the most badass thing I could think of. Oh yeah, I hoped. I wanted to see her though undead when they. Uh, did that and then brought her back. I was like, oh. he brought her back, but she didn't get off, and thankfully, yeah. But, not, um, that, not that we saw her anyway. Yeah, that's true. She might have killed someone. We don't know. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, she, I mean, well, when it was probably like a good five ten minutes between. Well, we'll get there. Well, yeah. we'll get there when we get there. I was gonna say Dav Davos is also on the battlefield. He's. Uh, he. I also find it very funny that Davos has got like Mormon uh, men as his uh, bodyguard. It's just very strange. Oh, yeah. It's not like. 
I mean, he has no men of his own, in fairness, but like, I don't know why, why Mormont? <laughs> Just, there's no need. Yeah. I'm trying to see if I can find the speed of my units. Look I can't. Boy. Yeah. I'm so, got missile resistance. I'm so glad uh, Davos survived. And looking at it, the, um, yeah. the it is not looking good in my favor. You have 5,000 men, I have 3,000. Yeah, it's looking pretty heavy. Yeah. We just need to hope that your your walls hold. But um, unfortunately, because um, if it's a Shogun, I could probably just climb the walls, but I can't. Yeah. So yeah, I have, have to use ladders. We have to bring ladders. So I need to get my ladders into position. So I'm going to move them up as much as I can. Mm. I bring, I'm getting them up fairly near. Yeah, just close enough. And then I'll charge my horde in. Yeah. Uh, which I... So obviously this is where the horde will, well, in, in right in their second, it might take a while. Let's speed this up actually for the ladders mm. to get into position. Yeah. Because they're uh, taking their time. They are. But um, who else? Who else? I'm just going to see who else we've got. I think we've got Jon Snow. Jon Snow is defending with Jorah Mormont the capture point, which we are representing as Bran. So the Night yep. King has to get here um, to to win, basically, and he kills Bran. And uh, if we kill the Night King, we win the battle, basically. I mean, basically. It, it will continue because <laughs> um, technically I found the undead, him. Of I have, the undead. Yeah, the undead of the undead. I found your Night King. He is back here somewhere. Oh, you can see him, can't you? Yeah, the, he's been run over by the ladders currently. Yeah, the Night King uh, lost the battle because he got run over by his own men. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so unfortunately we can't do any dragons and stuff like that. I really wish they added them. That would have uh, been cool. It would have been, been pretty hard on Attila to do it. It'd have to be like Warhammer. Yeah, Warhammer, Warhammer 2 sort of stuff, um, which I think could be doable because the, the siege battles are just basically one segment of the city, mm. which would be very good to represent because obviously Winterfell only got attacked well, from what we understand, from like one yeah. one side. It weren't, were they surrounded? I, don't, I can't really Not tell. Not really. I think they just kind of they just bulldozed through and just like they didn't bother with tactics. It's just over the walls and that's it. I suppose you don't need to when you're the really undead. You just kind of push forward. Exactly, yeah. That's why the Unsullied weren't really prepared. I just realised, now that my uh, ladders are not in the way, or oh, people aren't in the way of my ladders, my ladders are moving quick. Yeah, your guys... They are moving quick. It is far too quick for my liking. <laughs> Good, we've reached the walls. My men are still hidden, which is really surprising. <laughs> they are, I can't see them. Although they might, might reveal themselves as my ladders slowly approach. Yeah. We're, just, we're all in the dark, that's why. We're in the shade of the castle. <laughs> you can't even see us. That was kind of the whole thing about the episode, though. It's just it's very, very dark. You couldn't see what was going on properly. Okay, the Starks and the Guardsmen are moving around. I'm not, and Starks, Guardsmen, and the Hornwoods are all moving around. I don't like are it. They? Yeah, they were all really nicely where they positioned where they were. They had all their archers ready and stuff. Now they're just, like, going all over the place. Oh, let's uh, go into pl normal play mode. But um, yeah, I will be trying to get my the, my unsullied out of this this fight, <laughs> if doable. If doable. Yeah. But hey, we'll see. Oh wow, these skeletons—they move. Skeletons move a lot quicker than the other ones, that's for sure. Yeah. Uh, I can see what's going on now. Oh, I see what you've done there. You've uh, surrounded yourself. Yeah. I thought that it looks most representing of like the defense. Right now, these fire arrows need to kill about like a thousand of your men to give me a chance. <laughs> Do they even have that many arrows? That's the question. Well, with the tiller uh, arch towers, yes, they do. They just keep firing. <laughs> oh, the archer towers. Yeah, the fort towers, definitely. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the arches. I don't trust those arches. <laughs> There's no way in hell they are like killing enough. Is don't actually think. They've put any. Oh, they've got a few longbows on the wall. They've got a lot of guardsmen on the wall. Well, it's because the AI is like the AI is like thinking that they're going to attack from every single side of the wall. It's got most yeah. of its men scattered around, and now they're getting the men off the wall. Oh god, damn it! It's okay. We'll make it work. We will. I mean, I just have to kill the Night King. Of course. Okay. But the Night King's smart. He has not revealed himself yet. And here we go. Brace for impact, Obviously. man. Ah, here they come. <gasps> Look at the formations, though, of the Unsullied. Oh, They've literally just got into formation just in time. I know, that was the idea. Oh, that looks good. Oh, I always mix so up. Not, 
you're talking about the retreat i do love the retreat you see the sons they slowly step backwards bit by bit yeah the, the amount of discipline those men must have for they're not even part of the seven kingdoms they're part of um essos isn't it yeah so they're not even part of this little um this little world of the seven kingdoms where they've been worrying about the undead for so long well i mean since i think in um i think in the episode you see um them like some of them retreating and Grey Worm has to shout at them to stand their ground. But I am losing, like, yes, decisively. I, I am losing Yeah, decisively. I just realised that as well. It is going to be a really hard fight. I found... No. I mean, they are spears, so the spears are not going to be as good, I don't think. Oh, there's yeah. Grey Worm. There's Grey Worm. Yeah. So what I find amusing at this part is, obviously, um, after the Unsullied, the Starks were all killed off, they had a fire trench. Now, that was a scene and a half. Hmm. What do they have? Like maybe ten minutes to think about what's going to happen next, and then the undead just flopped over it and smothered yeah. the fire. I was expecting someone to save uh, Melisandre by like sacrificing her life, like Grey Worm possibly, but yeah, yeah, your Unsullied are not lasting. I see the Starks have finally hit the walls, though. Oh, they've been there a while, but they just keep moving. Ah, oh, they're getting confused. Either uh, confused. Them. Yeah. I need to get my men out of the formation. Oh my god. This is where you start retreating, is it? If you I'm, wanna... I'm pulling my oh. men back. Like, ridiculously back. It's gonna be a run. It's a run for the walls, lads. It's a run for the walls now. I can see those fire arrows all pouring out now. They're starting to do the damage. Yep. Yeah. Luckily, we've got the Starks are here in force. Oh, the oil's going down, burning my men. Or my, my very much undead men. Unfortunately, the Starks seem to keep, in, keep it, the gates open. Yeah, and... Oh, no! <laughs> this is going to be Unsullied that are left outside. I'm sorry. It's fine. I was more upset when those Unsullied did, because I'm pretty sure some did get left outside. Some some did, because they they, when they lit the trench, they closed the gates, and there's still some Unsullied just holding them back just a little bit. That's sad. That's but, um, more, that's they're on the other sad. side of the trench. Yeah, that was more sad for me. Just like their loyalty is just like unparalleled, and they just like sacrifice themselves. I got one unit of those and Sully back plus Grey Worm. It was oh. Ridiculous. It's gonna come down to the um, to the Starks. Come down to the walls and the Starks. Cause yeah, cause you remember you see all the Starks. The Starks are the ones that are retreating. The Unsullied you just see sheer fear in them. Mm. Oh that's yeah. That's gonna. Yeah. There's... Now, see the ladders are hitting the walls. This is to represent part of the film where obviously the trench was lit and the undead just started flopping on top of it to smother the flames, as it yeah. were. I really am not sure how we're going to hold this. <laughs> they, like, there's, you're flopping so many units everywhere. I don't think I've killed enough. I might, uh, I might ignore some of the ladders just to make it a little bit easier. You'll Although see. I might be a bit too late for that now. Because <laughs> they've like already that. started mounting the walls. Hopefully we can just kill them as you come over the wall quite nicely. Indeed. Just stab them as like get to the top of the wall. Like, well, that's what, that's what I was thinking when they actually did this. Because you had Jamie Lannister and um, the, the big woman, as uh, <laughs> Giant Spain says. And uh, they were just hauling them off quite well. And then it's just that one zombie got... Yeah, that one that irrelevant time. man that was held... I literally said as well, it's going to be one irrelevant man that's going to ruin it all. And he's going to die oh, and then it. they're going to... The floodgates open and that's what happened. I, it's, it's more even now with my elite uh, Unsullied, but it's still not looking good. Still not looking good. I'm pretty sure Jorah Mormont's also got Unsullied. Oh no, Jorah Mormont's Cavalry. Oh, no, cavalry? No. no, no, no. No, he is. He is Unsullied. It's just that Jon Snow's on top of him, so... <laughs> <laughs> In, he's he's changed from... He's, he's like, I've, I've had it with you, Danny. I'm now getting with Jorah. Yep. I'm <laughs> it's like, I don't want your dragon anyway. I didn't, yeah. Take the dragon back. I never liked it. It looked at me funny. I'll leave those guys there, because I don't want to be too overpowering. I want to actually engage your units. So yeah, this part of the film, or the episode, I should say, they literally pour all over the walls. It's almost like yeah. I've seen out of uh, DayZ, where they just they make little piles of like pillars. Yeah. And that's it. I was going to say, you say you correct yourself on film. It, it's 82 minutes. That is kind of a short film. To be it is getting there, yeah. Yeah, it's the longest battle scene in TV history. Um, film history, they're not a hundred percent sure because Helm's Deep is um, up there. It's competing with it, but 
Yeah, you're elite and Sully, they're definitely doing the jobs, so... They're holding, they're, I should have they're holding. Maybe, I should have possibly got more of them and just kept, instead of having the uh, the normal ones, because they they are getting rinsed with the other ones. Poor guys. And they have, and they're like tier 3 with those other ones. Yeah. Ridiculous. The Starks aren't faring too well, though. I know, which is very strange, because I did a... The, the battle I did... A man for man like battle. Um the start like the Northmen very good, but then we had cavalry and like the North the North's cavalry or well, just like any of the like Westeros cavalry with their heavy knives yes. are insane. They like killed twenty, thirty men in a charge. It's ridiculous. But yeah, you've lost oh, Yeah, you've not I'm watching your on Sully too. Yeah. They're, They're looking a little uh looking a bit weak. I don't know, the uh the, it seems to be one for one currently. Mm. Yeah, so you got some more over there as well. See, obviously the walls being captured the way they were. It's just very bizarre. It's almost fearful watching the zombies just, just jump off the wall. They don't have to go down yeah. the, the, the stairs or anything. They just jump off it. They break through the fencing and everything. I know. It's so dark as well right now. I'm like, looking at the walls is just like, nope. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. You're not going to go through the gate? We've left it nicely open oh, for you. I think I found one of your uh, heroes. What Grey Worm or it might be one I'm of the sure. might be Davos. Might be Davos. You found. Uh, this is. I can't select him. He's a Stark though. Oh, he's a guardsman. Oh no, he's not. He just has, has no helm. Oh. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. There's some like random guys that are just like that. <laughs> it's very strange. Just like yeah, we uh, don't need a helmet. <laughs> <laughs> I like that as well though. It was like there's like men at arms. They have like a load of different random assorted weapons. And it's really, really cool. How did I destroy an enemy tower? Um, you just do. Like, if you capture it, you destroy it. It's like the whole... The Attila thing that happens. I thought it's it was like, the wooden ones. No. <laughs> Look at, I'm just looking at the ladder and it's like I'm a huge pile of dead just ready to, like, jump Jump off. up, yeah. And it's just like, there's no room. There's, like, literally no room on this wall currently. Oh, come on, guys. You need a hold. For the sake. No, I don't see your archers are not doing too good on my uh, units here. Yeah, I know they're not really shooting. I, I talk. Should, oh, here we go. There we go. So I was going to say, talking about archers, the Ironborn did a very good job putting off the undead with just archer units. I thought that as well. I was like, geez, these guys are like machine gun fire. I know it's like twenty odd people. Yeah, holding held off a hundred odd people men. at least. Poor Theon though. Poor Theon. Oh, I'll give, I'll give him credit. He's had a hard life. He has. He made some mistakes. He and made. he may have redem He made a bit of redemption. I cried when he died. It was just one of those moments of, oh my god. I really hoped he was good. Um, that, like, Bran was going to say something like, oh, you're a Stark. Uh, or your family in my eyes, or something like that. Or, or ah, someone... he's not Bran anymore, though, is I know, he? I know, but like, someone say it, possibly. Because like he's obviously gone back to Winterfell, his childhood home. Basically. Because he didn't mm. really see, didn't really see. Uh, I still don't think he sees. I can't. I'm trying to remember the name of the place that um, the Ironborn are from. But um, uh, the Pike, Iron Islands, I think. Pike. Is it? Pike. That's the one I'm thinking of. Yeah, the Iron oh, Islands, Pike. but Pike in particular is the island he's on, and he doesn't really see that as home because obviously he wasn't there long enough. Yeah, he got captured by Ned, and turned into an a retainer. Mm. Jorah Mormont, oh not Jorah Mormont, um, Lyanna Mormont is doing okay. She's actually probably the only one successfully winning on this, like, I don't know, wall. But we're getting surrounded now, my Unsullied. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My Unsullied are in trouble. I might have pushed a little bit. Well, I say I pushed, I reassigned my attack orders. But um, my zombie units are slowly depleting as well, so it's a case of just them... Oh, there's actually a unit here which is... Oh, they're all eager and confident, so they can't they can't break. Yeah, it's not possible. <laughs> now, at this point, the, the, this is where the, now the gates are actually open, so we can probably represent this. Uh, a big giant kind of crashes through those gates. I, I think we should... I think you should try it. See if you can get through. Oh, they're coming in now. They, especially since the AI has dedicated so many units there. It would be a shame not to... Unfortunately, they've all decided that the walls are a way to go forward, rather than through the gates. Hmm. It's a shame. Some of the men have gone berserk. That's not good. Oh, <laughs> I can't control. Yeah, they are going through the gate now. There's like a good, there's a good arc 
of just dead and unsullied. Probably most of them are unsullied. Which is a real shame. Oh, oh, the oil. The oil, and it only killed about two or three guys. Oh, and there's another skeleton going in. Oh, he's on fire. Oh, he's down. It's a bit strange because I'm trying to get him to break the gates because I can't. It's still, they still think it's closed. Uh. So I'm sending them in to attack the fin air currently. Yeah, uh, that's okay. It's like basically them uh, ripping it down. Yeah. With force. So yeah, with the uh, with the little bear, the uh, what's her name? It's a uh, um, Mormon. Liana. Liana Mormont. That was the death I cried at the most, probably. Definitely. I mean, being shunted by the giants, I literally had my hands on my head like, oh, damn. I thought she was going to get, like, squashed. They were just, like, going to make it a really, like, un a really bad death for her. And just like, yeah, she you just got squashed. But uh, she got back up. And my god, what she did was fairly heroic. Yeah. I mean, no one else was fighting that giant. And uh, that giant got... I wonder if that's a giant that uh, got killed... Where was it? Were there were Jon Snow and the Wildlings? Yeah, I think it might have been and that a small hard camp. Yeah, that hard is that his name? Yeah, that's... so I think that was him returning as the undead. Oh, oh, you mean it? Um, do you think it was one one, the one that died at the Battle of the Bastards? The Battle of the Bastards. The one that like it's no. Peppered. There was one that got killed. Do you know where there's like the frozen beaches where the, where you first oh, see like yeah, being raised up dead? Yeah, that's at hard home. Yeah. Yeah, because I had all the all the like, zombie children even. Yeah. Oh, I think yeah. that's what's him. Hmm. It might have been. Yeah. No, no, no. He survived. He survived. He did. He walked. Did in, he? Yeah. He walked into the um. Into the sea and then just they like I don't know how they got him back. Yeah, because he dies at the Battle of the Bastards. Oh, does he? Yeah. Oh, there must be another giant then. Well, yeah, in, there's um, a shot in like season seven right at the end. There's like loads of giants. So there's like five or six, definitely. So, yeah. It's good. It, oh, I'm glad that the AI is doing this. It's just shooting from the, like, from the side onto the men on the walls. And it's killing quite a few of your undead. I'm sure they are. I've just realized that myself. I mean, it's I saw, smart. I saw a little bit earlier. But... Yeah, it's smart of the AI to do it. Oh. But... The, the gates are holding very well. My units are doing as well because of its oil. Mm, I've also got, like, no... Um, no fresh units, really, now. I mean, Grey Worm's still untouched, but... Um, I don't really want to commit him yet. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm running out of men quickly. You're running out of men quickly. My men at the gates are being destroyed, but the gates aren't going to hold for much longer. In fact, they're not going to hold now. That's 91, 92... Yeah, there's it's it's um it's it's not looking good for the men of the living. Uh, it, gates are destroyed. There we go. Here we go, and in we go. Damage is at fifty percent. Still got oil though. Good. <laughs> we need it. Grey worms getting into position. This is, it's just a beautiful mod. It is. It's very nice. So what's your, like, the thoughts on the main characters? And you've got Aya Stark at the very beginning on those gates. That pole arm weapon she creates, that is something and a half. She barely uses it, though. That's what I get annoyed at. She just... I, I know, because she was just wiping out the undead like there was nothing. No, but I mean, yeah, she was wiping them out like they were nothing, but she she didn't use it as much as I thought she was going to. It like got destroyed quite quickly, did that pole arm. Yeah, it did. Uh, no, I think she she didn't break. She uh, detached it, I think. Yeah, but she oh she lost it. Though. Oh, did she lose it? Yeah, because that's the like the whole library scene. She's like not got a weapon apart from like that knife, that knife, and she just oh uh, yeah, and she's trying to just get out. Because I think that's, she, that's she a pretty nifty scene. Mm. I thought. Yeah, if she had a pole arm, I think she would have um, probably taken them all down. Because she does take but, down a lot of dead. She does. I mean, with that stealth scene as well, that was quite something. How she just literally just running around the zombies. Didn't mm. last long, because uh, eventually the entire horde came. But um, what she going to just run through with a uh, sort of... Uh, so collect ah, I can't say his name. Gregor. Uh, yeah, Gregor Clegane. No, not Gregor. Um, no, Sandor, Sandor Clegane. Gregor, San Gregor Clegane's the, uh, with Cersei. Oh yes, so it's Sandal, and obviously it was the um, unfortunately the uh, man who died, the uh, the sword. Mm. You have to remind me on names. I'm terrible with them. Um, who we sorry, who are we on about? I was doing some tactics. The guy who got killed, who serves the um, 
the fire gods. Oh, um, Thoros of Mir. No? That might be him. The guy with the eye patch. Oh, Beric Dondarrion. Yeah, Beric. That's it. Yeah. I was thinking Thoros of Mir's died long ago. I was, but he does serve a sun god. I'm really running out of men now. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I might have to. Bring, I'm bringing Jorah forward to actually help. Because John Snow's not not moving at all, so we can use hit represent him as Bran currently. Well, Bran to defend Bran basically. Yeah. That that mythical person that is Bran right now. That is Bran there. Yeah. I'm holding the, the wall. I, I, I don't think I can pull any men back because I'm gonna lose more pulling back than I am. You're gonna take a hit. Yeah. I think it's the stage where the undead will start just pouring into the city. I mean, then they get into the crypts. That surprised the hell out of me when that started happening. Well, it's the men of the dead. It's the uh, men of the dead, of course it is. It's the um, the uh, kings and stuff. They're just the, there's already they're ready-made skeletons for them. In, uh, oh, were they the um, yeah. undead? Yeah, like the oh. yeah. So that's why they were alluding to uh, the crypts, saying they were so safe, but really they aren't because they've got dead already in there. That did not even occur to me. I thought they broke through the walls. They were just breaking through the walls. That did no, not occur to me. No, like that's like Lyanna Stark. There was that's why there was a suggestion Ned Stark might return because obviously his skeleton's He's there. In there. I might need to rewatch that bit. Did you see Lyanna Stark just pop out? Um, you're not really sure which ones they are because it's like just the random. Uh, it's just I don't know. It's just like random skeletons. You can't really differentiate who's who. So it's just a skeleton pops out, but I imagine, yeah, out of Lyanna's tomb appears one. But yeah, the event um, and Ned Stark would have could have appeared, but he's headless. That's the thing. He is so indeed. So his skeleton would have been headless and couldn't have really done anything. So, I don't know. I mean, can the unhorns, can the undead still do things when they're headless? No, nah, I think that is one of the big the things. Okay, yeah, you've broken through. I've broken through on this side definitely. Just yeah. watching that now. There'd be a really nice ability we can raise the undead. You can actually do that in Warhammer too, yeah. where you can raise, where raise the undead. That was another thing I was thinking of that would have been perfect for... Um, yeah, if it was this mod. Oh, you're running out of men. You've got... I am. Very, but so are we, a lot quicker. It's got, These got, guys are... it's got a lot closer as the uh, like difference in a count, but there's not much left. There isn't, no. Who is those... I was going to say, someone's firing arrows at my men, but there's no one to fire them. Oh, the tower, of course. I think one of the units just broken on the gates. Mm, they have. Not, more, not one of my I didn't realise. Oh, wow, I didn't realise. My undead on the gates are still there, despite the oil. Push it through. Oh, yeah, the Starks are put. Oh, yeah, the Starks aren't lasting. And they're all fresh, despite the fact they just been in prolonged combat. <laughs> Go on, Grey Worm. You've got to save the day. I'm surprised Grey Worm survived that. I, everyone's saying he's going to die. I, well, I, I say I'm surprised. I didn't think he would. I thought he the would amount of fan theories. I thought he was going to die just because um, his like whole arc was going to was over and like they just needed an excuse to. Um, well, not an excuse, but they needed like a uh, an emotional death and him dying and like not being able to take Miss Sunday to. The Summer Islands or wherever it was it would have been pretty sad. And I was ho I was thinking he was gonna like sacrifice himself to save his men, because yeah. he's like he's got that whole like moral thing of saving his men. And I was thinking I was my heart was wrenching for him when he had to watch his men get massacred. Yeah, I mean that can't have been pleasant. No, nah, especially since like yeah he, they've been like serving with each other for however many years. Just, yeah, like, to see that it's just ah. Oh. It killed me. I am running out of men, though. You are, it is looking like, since your general has not been committed, that... Um, I'm waiting to get enough... I'm trying to find a way in. So I can probably use... I'd just go through the gates. You might, If you push everything last through, you would probably get through. There's not many Stark units holding. There aren't, no. I'm going to push them onto the walls and then down, I think. More and Salida are coming, though. I see, yeah. So where's your little Brandon? Uh, he's not here. He he's was not like, here. No, I'm, I'm saying that Brandon's represented just by the capture point. We've got this Jora, this Jora Mormon coming to the coming to the fore. He's gonna cut down all these dead. Oh no! He attacked me in the rear. Yeah. 
Oh, uh, actually, I mean, it's not much of a rear because Grey Worm's like nearly dead. He's already is a he half strength. Well, he's a half strength. I don't actually know if he's alive because I don't get a notification if he dies because he's just like a unit. Yeah, I'm just I'm looking at him. I'm looking at those men. I can't see him. Which is he's winning decisively, so he might be okay. Yeah, but he was in the front line, so it's whether. Oh, he could be back here. Could be one of these back here. He has no helmet on. I'm pretty sure. I can't. I can't remember. <laughs> I, c I didn't really have a good look at him. I hate to say it. I, there, I did in my last battle, so I, I think I'd recognise him if I saw him. But we're gonna cut down this like little force that you have here. I think. That oh, tried here comes my general. The Night King is arriving. The Night King is arriving. He's going onto the walls. Ah, I see where you're gonna go. Aye. I think you're, you're going to go straight up, aren't you? Get down and go for the capture point. It's pretty much the plan. I mean, what, what, he doesn't even go through. He kind of just through, doesn't he? From the yeah, front he, gates. He just, oh, that's what you're saying. You walk through the front gates, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, he just walks through the front gates and like... He has help of a dragon, in fairness. To be fair, he does. Oh, no, well, you say that. He did fall like 20,000 feet. It is true, yeah. Like, I did think, oh, he, he shouldn't be getting up from that, but... Yeah, he's but dead. He's, he's, dead. Dead. <laughs> he's a dead man, isn't he? He's not... Ah. It's a bit of a strange one, because the way he was made, they pushed what dragon glass into his heart. This yeah. Heart. So they kill him, technically, but like he's also still brought back to life. I'd love to know how that works, though, because the dragon glass kills him. Mm. Uh, kills him, turns him into White Walker. Oh, you're just killing some of my units. But my units aren't looking too healthy at the moment either. But Unsullied, it's 18 holding on that right Still side. holding. The Unsullied are pretty nifty. They are. I mean, the, I love... the elite ones anyway, certainly. The normal ones are a bit meh. But, man, they are good. Oh, the Night King has now finally arrived. Excellent. We've got a few units I can deal, deal some damage to him. So at this point, we would... Oh, boy. Yeah, that's another tower gone. That's the gate's gone. The gate's gone? Oh god, oh, you're, yeah. you're sort of through now. Pretty much there now. So I find when very end, no, near the very end, you obviously Jamie, you see Grey Worm, you're um, to go Grey Worm. Yeah. So you're the main character is literally against the wall. Mm. Now, Giant's Bane, did he die? Because I didn't see him. Um, that's what we think, that's what I was saying with, I was watching it with my house. And we were saying, someone might appear, they might like, line up all the dead that have like all the main characters of the dead and like we're gonna then see someone that we didn't see in this episode die but it's like we're gonna like oh, they died and like because they'll just be their body lying there sort of thing like on... thing is... so you might be like oh, so yeah we might have that as a shock for the next episode because i remember sorry i keep interrupting them no no, no there's nothing else i've got nothing else to say so what i do remember seeing is when all the undead flop over mm. at the very end there's a man with a sword and it's a wildling now, I don't know how many wildlings are actually in the battle that actually survived the entire thing. Well, yeah, and the but, um, wildlings at this point, their numbers should be very low, because they've been through a lot. Oh, god, yeah. They've been through, like, the Battle of the Bastards, then they've had to... Quite a few of them probably died trying to get back from the wall. So, and then they've just... And then at Hardhome as well, loads of them die, so... Yeah, I'm just watching Grey Worm... Well, Grey Worm's unit, I, I still haven't found him, which is quite sad. Just die. No, uh, he like might fighting. be gone. Yeah, they're just fighting off your whites. Just, oh, that's so good. They actually do some of the like the moves that the Unsullied do. It was, it's good. Yeah, it is. It's so good. Oh, they need to add um, more like Essos um, factions so we could do like the early season. Just watch like the oh, Unsullied yeah. like roll over. Where is the Night King off then? Uh, I couldn't break down your barrier, so I'm going around it. Which means uh, going the long way. Ah. Well, at least I did something all right. <laughs> Put the barricade <laughs> yeah. in the way. <laughs> yeah, there's a uh, because my units just don't break. Obviously, they're all just yeah. They're but they're so fast. Like the arch towers probably just miss most of their shots. They have. They miss all of their shots. How do you, how can you tell the arch towers? Um, can you see the kill count? No, no, no. You can just like see where the arrows like land because they're on fire. And they missed like most of the shots. They aren't strictly the accurate, most accurate thing, which is why when you're on the wall, it's dangerous because then mm. the closer you are, the easier it is, sort of thing. Yeah. Oh, there's a little civilian woman here. Oh, yeah. Didn't go to the crypt in time. Yeah. She doesn't know what to do. She did. <laughs> I've just went right past him, to be honest. 
Oh. Oh, this is the Ampia Theatre. Ah. Well, in Roman times. Oh, so you're going up there. Okay. I, Night King I is arriving. You. I will meet you. Where is Grey Worm? Is Grey Worm still alive? Oh, Grey Worm's unit's down to 14. Ah. Uh, he's definitely. Guardsmen. He's holding the wall. He's all that's left holding the wall apart from this manly unit that's now coming to save the day. I think that's actually quite accurate to the film because he was near the gates at the time, wasn't he? Yeah. Oh, this, this unit's berserk. Oh, that Grey Worm's gone. No, he's gone. My he's units dead. are gone berserk now. I can't control them. No, Grey Worm. I've still got some unsolved holding the walls, but I am down to basically draw a moment. Draw a moment. With he's going to face down the Night King. Yeah, now that's the scene of the day, isn't it? Yeah, I mean. Were you expecting it? What draw to die? <laughs> oh yeah, because Daenerys she gets knocked off a dragon. We haven't really spoken about Daenerys at all, have we? Yeah, I mean Daenerys is uh, like I think she. Like, they should have had a dragon more on maintenance of defending the wall and then yeah. one flying around because there were so many p points where I was like, if they just had dragons here, they would be... The majority would be fine. Yeah, they would have been fine. Oh my god, this is giving me, it's giving me chills just doing like the brace for impact and then the, uh, the rotate the... Charge, yeah. Then the um, steal yourselves, like, abilities for the Unsullied. It's just so good. And then they just like, then just out of nowhere, we, we're not even doing it on purpose, like, we are just so, we've got this orchestrated properly, it's like, I do the brace yourselves, you charge in, it's just beautiful. It's perfect. It is. I mean, but they're not staying in formation, which is annoying, so I'm seeing like, Unsullied get surrounded by like, five dead men. Hopefully Ooh. Jon Snow's gonna march forward, but I don't think he will. Oh yeah, there's Jon Snow and his little horse. Yeah, he's, I think, from my, um experience the ai just like general stays on the capture point and just then yeah just stays there and that's unfortunate so you might have an easy time deal dealing with that i've still got some long bows and um would you believe it the mormont unit is still alive yeah Leanna not mormont, for long he isn't Leanna, is he Where liana is mormont is still alive she's there i see her <laughs> that is ridiculous so the giant hasn't killed her yet but um jorah mormont not looking so sh so good he's already at half Strength. Oh dear. Pardon me. Oops, I did a mistake. What do you do? I turn my units around and my generals are like 20 units. Uh, good. That's, that makes it a bit more fair. But your units are huge as well. Oh god, yeah, I know. 185 units, I think. 188. 188. Ridiculously big. So talking about Daenerys, she didn't do an awful lot, I found. I thought, yeah, she did very little. Like, she, she was the first to leave and to, like, go off and do stuff, but... Like, I mean, don't get me wrong... Did a bit of fire breathing on the battle lines and stuff, mm. but overall. Oh, the enemy general is dead. Excellent. I, I technically win. Dead. I yeah. You're I technically, technically I've technically won. Uh, perhaps we should now talk about the Night King dying. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that is. We'll go back to Daenerys, but yeah, the Night King dying. Were you expecting I to do it? No, I wasn't. I don't know who I really expected to do it. Yeah. But it wasn't I. It was first of, to mind. I thought I might go and try and assassinate him and like put a face on like a dead man's face on and try that's and an that's what i thought when the witch said uh green eyes blue eyes uh was it brown green and blue eyes i thought yeah. she was gonna fake being a zombie and i thought is that actually possible mm. but if it is but no she just she just flies in there yeah i know she i think she must have disguised herself in some way because to get close because like you see that shot and the night and the uh, white walker One like feels walkers, like yeah feels um some air go past her so like yeah now i'm like your general said that unit just got crushed yeah that unit's just not there anymore i think it helps that i had like a height advantage but even still yeah that yeah, that unit is gone yeah oh it broke oh, gone. it actually it broke. broke it did break it shattered. it shattered yeah it shattered that's very strange i've never seen that before with the dead I don't think it's completely foolproof, how um, because I've got a unit here that's shaken. Yeah, maybe if the oh, unit, maybe if the general dies, the unit shakes and breaks. <laughs> shakes and breaks. Shakes and breaks. Where are you off then? Where are you off? You have to deal with. Well, I'm dead, aren't I? Oh yeah, technically. Yeah. Oh, the whites are dead. So yeah, yeah. this is me. All, this is me now going to my grave. Yeah. Well, yeah. leaving the city to my grave. So Fair yeah, enough. with I, with I flying in, I I didn't expect it either, but I wasn't surprised after I thought about it. 
because she's trained this entire time to be an assassin. Mm. Yeah, she you had can, a little list. You need to see it actually in 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 full, didn't yeah. we? Oh, it looks like jo uh, Liana Mormont wants one more scrap before you leave. <laughs> she's like, God damn it! I need more when kills. I when I saw her eyes go blue, when the undead turned, I thought you can't bring her back. Don't bring yeah, her back. Don't bring she's her not back. the enemy. <laughs> Luckily, she we don't see her get up. Yeah. But, yeah. Although that brings me back to a previous scene from a previous season where we see all the undead children. That scared the hell out of me. Mm, that, that was that was, that was that w Yeah, it was unpleasant. That's probably the most realistic zombie children I've seen. Mm, I mean, yeah, I think they did it so well. Um, like, all the, all the whites and uh, look really scary. But I think... Oh, and the oil now as you retreat. Um, it's killing off my men, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, but... Um, I just, I felt like we could have, they should have done it a bit slower. I know, like, the zombies and they go really quick, but, like, I kind of just wanted to be actually see the actual battle. We just saw, like, blurs and stuff like that, but maybe that's just to represent, like, how it actually was, would have gone down. Yeah, it's just, just, I mean, mind you, with the library scene, with Aya stalking around before um, she gets saved. That's pretty that slow. Was, it's nice, yeah, and you see some nice close ups of the zombies, yeah. but, um,. Oh, Definitely yeah, I, the main I, I battle did. scenes. The, the zombies, like I said, with the first one, it's just a wave of zombies. It wasn't just like a like a clashing. It was just a yeah, all over. Yeah. If you want to concede defeat, that'll be quicker. Then we don't have to watch your men run away. Valiant defeat. Yeah. We'll um we'll have a quick look at the uh end the end uh, of the battle like kills. How many have you got left? Not many. I have 136 left. And the Your Unsullied North, Elites did a lot of damage. Yeah, and the North only have 202. You had 700 left. Yeah, my Unsullied Elites did, like... Oh my god, they did so many. Actually, the Dothraki killed quite a lot. The Dothraki did a lot better than I thought they would. And Jorah Mormon killed a lot as well. And Grey Worm, my boy, he killed a lot. And yeah, the, the only units actually did pretty poorly was um, about three units of Unsullied. The only ones that didn't get 100 kills. Yeah, I mean, my whites are in the 80s to 110s. Yeah, they, they've done they, your men did really well as well, to be fair. Oh, yeah. just, just for zombies, but yeah, then we've got like House Hornwood. I never even saw their units, they just like died. Um, they're same, just gone, yeah. Same with the Mandalays. I mean, I saw the Mandalays a little bit, they got some cool helmets, but yeah, they were just gone. The guards, uh, Liana Mormont getting 96 kills, but broke at the end. The car stocks, I never saw them really. Like the most of the no. northern units, like houses, just were gone <laughs> just so quickly. I mean, I was focusing mainly on the Unsullied because they are beautiful, but hey, I can I can live with that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I've we have we've talked as much as we can about Game of Thrones. We'll probably be doing another battle, uh, Game of Thrones battle, soon, and um, hopefully release that in the next few weeks. So if you've enjoyed, please like and subscribe. And until next time, bye for now.